everybody to Tumbalong Park. My name is Lisa Forrest and it's my pleasure to be here on this Community Action Day. A fun day we hope but also, also with a very serious measure because we are disappointed with the cuts that have happened to both public education both in schools and in TAFE and we're going to find out how that is going to impact on so many people um, over the next couple of hours. Well the first services to be cut when things get a bit tight are going to be the special ed schools, the special ed courses, teachers aides. City colleagues can you know go and do a course um, a couple of evenings a week. Um, that doesn't necessarily happen here. We have to get experts out. We can see very clearly that that pot of money is not going to meet the needs of our students. Consultancy services are being cut back. Uh, equity services are being reduced. Stop the cuts. Put students first. We are here today to protest and you, you are just one of 19 gatherings right round New South Wales. So a bit of a shout out to everyone around the state. Here we are. And I think how the hell could you cut $1.7 billion out of this system? And support staff for teachers, that's where it's coming from. And the poorest schools will be hit the hardest. What a disgrace that is. Shame, Barry O'Farrell, shame on you. Now, $1.7 billion, that tells me, by jingoes, that's a lot of chocolate frogs to sell, isn't it? Maybe they're going to get the kids to sweep the schools to work off a few extra kilos. I have no idea what the plan is. And we're all here, one mind, one body, one spirit, for the support of education. I really feel that these cuts to education also disempowers Indigenous education across the country. <laughs> Since the Stiff Gins uh, mentioned TAFE, Philip as a former a retired TAFE teacher, is that what brings you here today? Yes, I'm an angry retired TAFE teacher. For 27 years, we fought and sacrificed to improve the system to a world-class system, and it's all gone in a year and a half. A year and a half? Well, since Barry's been in. You're strong and you're smart. You've taken my heart, and I give you the rest of me too. So what brings you down here today, Rachel? Uh, I'm a teacher in Parramatta and already our schools lost $850,000 in funding over the past few months. Also, last I run the refugee transition program at the school and last week there was a restructure and a lot of people at the regional level who actually support me through the, through the program I run um, have lost their jobs, plus a lot of the ESL um, funding has gone from from the region as well, and that's going to put a lot of pressure, not just on us as teachers, but also the, the students will suffer greatly. So your message today would be? Barry, you don't have a mandate to cut public education and pu cut public services. You don't have the right. This is our money. Give it back. You're mine. I took away and dropped my gun. Your high horse will be the leader of the plan. Tend to love the truth aside. I'm in possession of so many tools. 
I myself would not be the person I am today or the professional I aspire to be tomorrow without TAFE. I'm just in front of the TAFE tent and there are a couple of things that you can wander over here and learn how to do as a bit of an example of what goes on at TAFE. We're here because we want to demonstrate that art is work. We're one of the 4,000, um, we're three of the 4,000 students that are being displaced because all funding has um, been cut as of January to um, art departments. There will be essentially no art departments in TAFE once that happens. The government is saying that it's going to be privatised, but we've got like six weeks to do that in. Essentially, it's impossible. The student numbers will be decimated and that will mean we won't have any places halfway through our diplomas and advanced diplomas. This is the time to add investment to schools and TAFE, not to take it away. I am proud that my mum and other teachers are prepared to fight to save this great system. I am proud of the Teachers Federation for standing up for the children and teachers of this state. So I ask you, Mr O'Farrell, will you protect us as well? Will you invest in education instead of casinos? And will you talk... And will you talk with people like my mum and my school teachers and listen to their concerns? For the sake of our system, the largest bureaucracy in the Southern Hemisphere, for our communities and the social capital and capacity, and importantly, for the future of our state and our nation, and that essential service cannot be savaged the way the O'Farrell government is now attacking it. Six. I'm sick of our PNCs and our school communities needing to fund the basics. I break their hearts and they see them. Come stand over here, kids. Everywhere I go, face the crowd there. Oh, and I'm the type of man who is always on the road. The O'Farrell government fails to understand this notion that they need to govern for the common good of all by providing essential public services. Let's be absolutely clear why we are here today. Today's event is called Putting Students First and this campaign has three priorities. Students, students and students. But there should be no need to rally because there is no need for the state government to rip $1.7 billion out of the education system. So this is more than just about cuts. Cuts may heal if treated, but permanent structural changes will never be restored. This is why Treasury officials sought the policy in the first place. The losses will be ongoing. We will keep this campaign alive for as long as it takes. We will sign up to become members of a community-based volunteer force that will ensure that this issue remains on the political agenda of this state in every school, in every TAFE college, in every suburb, in every town, in every regional city, in every electorate, this month, next month, next year, and to the state election and beyond if necessary. Hey,